you may have noticed, this video is just a little bit earlier than normal, and there's honestly two reasons for that. Number one, I figured some of you guys are probably looking for something to do as you wait for the update to complete, so why not go for a little hunt on Verhugga with the last thing we do in early access. So obviously this video is being recorded before the release of the Hunter Power Pack today. The other reason is, I wanted to actually do a stream, go over to Layton, and maybe start working on trying to fill the new free Layton Trophy Cabin on a live stream in just a couple of hours. So that's going to be the plan for today. We'll go for a hunt here over Hunga, do one last run through of all the weapons, try to get some use out of all of them today. And then we'll jump onto Layton Lakes and see if we can get anything cool for the Trophy Cabin. For now though, we're back on Verhunga. I just feel like this is the best map for specifically a weapon pack called the Hunter Power Pack. There's so much big game we can take, so many potential things we can use all three weapons on, and I think it would just be the best to potentially get good usage out of all of them. Now we have talked a lot about the different changes coming with this update, from the spook distance being reverted back to what it used to be, to the ability to turn off all clues with the click of a button, and also this new ability to gauge the distance of an animal that you are spotting. Now, that comes by default. It doesn't matter how many perks or skills you have, what level you have, you'll always be able now to see the estimated distance to an animal. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about that because there has been a change with one of the perks and it has to do with this new distance. So if we look at this, we're looking at a range of almost 100 meters in that guess from 300 meters to 415. If we go into our perks now and unlock the ranger perk, it now increases the accuracy when gauging distance of spotted animals. So when we go through here and buy this, now when we spot the lion, we've got a range of about 40 meters. So it's cutting it more than in half and that makes a really big difference. And if you're wondering why maybe your range is larger than some of the ranges you're seeing in videos and maybe in screenshots, that's probably why. It also depends on the actual distance. If we got to within, say, 100 meters of this guy, our range would be something like 10 meters. It's very accurate. But the other thing that resetting our handgun perks does is actually lets us see the reload animation of the 338 without lightning hands, which I want to take a look at because you don't throw the magazine in the air when you're reloading, which I kind of prefer, but I do like lightning hands, so that's probably something we're going to deal with. And I'll reset the perks back as we go down and go to claim this guy. But I think that's a pretty cool change, and it's going to be nice too, just having that estimate, especially for newer players who maybe don't have the range finding binoculars yet. That is a big deal, just being able to have an idea of how far you're shooting. And I think even when you have to go for a quick shot, maybe something is fleeing in the distance, you don't have time to get your binoculars first and then your gun, at least it'll give you some idea of what to zero for and where to aim. But with that now out of the way, we can just go ahead and start to basically run around and go for whatever we find. I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that early on, because if you're sitting there updating the game waiting for that to complete, that might be something that you want to look into early on, just to make sure that you've got the ranger perk and have the best estimate if you want it. I mean, obviously the range finding binoculars work just as well as they ever have, but I think it can be a nice touch and it's there whether you pay attention to it or not, but I think sometimes it'll come in handy. As for our first kill of the day with the 7 mil though, a 44 scoring gold warthog actually almost missed the lung but got spinal cord and vertebrae anyway. Not half bad. And we'll just kind of start to wander around. Hopefully we can find some Cape Buffalo, still some of the lower animal classes for the 308 and 7 mil but we'll see what we run into. And right on cue, we've got Cape Buffalo all around us but I just looked off to our left and I realized something. This is an older save basically that's in this early access and that right there is actually something that we've shot in the past. We have already taken that albino K buffalo but I mean we shouldn't just let it there. Nothing in this early access is going to count by the way. It'll be as if it never happened when we go back to the live game so it's not as though we're going to have two in the trophy lodge or anything like that but I mean could be a cool thing to try to take with the 338. The only thing is, the angle is a little bit odd, so maybe we'll get ourselves in better position, but I do actually want to try to go for a longer shot. It might be fun even to attempt a 400 meter shot, but how we line that up, I don't know yet. I would say this is about as good as we're going to do. 
I wanted to maybe see if the brown first type one would go out of render. But I mean, we gotta be over 400 here now. I've not tried anything like this with the 338, so no promises it goes well. But we actually aren't gonna aim incredibly high here, only because we actually want a kind of lower in lung shot. That hit it and it went aggressive immediately. So that's encouraging. But I don't see the health starting to go down, so might have missed out on the 400 meter kill shot. But I think at least we'll get it one way or another. And assuming it's still coming up here, which it is, this is not the best place to run into it, but we'll see if we can somehow get a broadside lung shot in there. I think that'll do. And I actually am really curious to see where we hit it, because it almost had to have been in the leg, or somehow like maybe just below the lungs, because I felt like we had the left and right correct. It was 414 meters. Wait a minute. Did it only drop that much over, like, 150 meters beyond the zero range? I'm not surprised that didn't reach the lung, because as we've talked about over and over again, and why I said I wanted to go for a low lung hit, high up in the lungs, close to the shoulder and stuff for Cape Buffalo, rarely do you get any penetration, but that actually kind of makes the 338 feel quite flat shooting. Double lung on the follow-up, though, not too bad. We're not going to bother taxing that because, again, as I said, it's basically going away here in like a couple of hours, but that was interesting. Now I want to find another one to try 400 meter shot and aim like at shoulder level. You know, it turns out getting like a nice broadside 400 meter shot at the Cape Buffalo is not that simple. I think this is as good as we're going to do. We'll back this up as much as we can, but I just want to basically aim shoulder height and just see what happens because the amount of drop it had the first time really really shocked me and you know what that was a long shot he was starting to go down and i mean at this point we might as well try it again that guy i think must be around 400 if not over and we can't get a whole lot further away but the one behind him left render so it's got to be close and we'll just basically do that same thing and see if that gets along as well he's going aggressive so regardless We'll be able to take a look. That time it did not get along. That will be really intriguing to figure out what's going on. So let's get up there. Let's try to make sure we get him before he just turns around and flees. And then we'll get the one that definitely did make lung. Meanwhile, this guy's not going down at all. So let's try to get that solved. That's going to be a little bit better. And let's just see where it hit. Because what I don't think happened is that we hit below the lungs. Either we got like maybe towards the shoulder where it just didn't penetrate or something like that because I do think we aim just a touch lower on this one than the one before it but not by much it was a 413 meter shot and it actually was in the leg but I mean online to hit the lungs just barely I think if we were just a little further left it would have gotten there that's interesting but was the other one over 400 meters not that it's that big a deal but would be kind of a cool thing he's actually laying right there so let's go see this might actually be one of the most interesting developments thus far it was over 400 meters and this time we got like in front of that shoulder because of the angle and we're well into the lungs it's actually almost like into the spine right at the center of the body a little bit less than that but at that distance i mean how much did it drop i felt like we aimed maybe that height and again we're zeroing for 300 that's actually pretty impressive. I, I don't know if the 300 would be the same. The 300 weapon, obviously. But I felt like we would have needed to aim higher than that. That'll be maybe something we can test on stream later today or at a future time. Because I do want to make sure we focus on the other weapons as well. The 338 has gotten the bulk of our attention. But I mean, that was, that was pretty impressive, I gotta say. So back to the other two weapons, despite once again kind of putting them on the back burner inadvertently this time, I want to try to maybe make a heart shot on this Gems Buckle. We'll actually go 308, because I'm pretty confident the 7 mil can do it. And of course, that's not the angle I wanted. We'll maybe move around and see if this one will offer us a better shot. Broadside, or at least like in the open, would be preferable. That I think could be done. The heart is pretty low, and that obviously worked out, so not half bad from the 308. It's got a really nice sound, too. I do think it's going to be a weapon that we carry maybe on some of our latent hunts when looking for trophies to fill that cabin. But 
Obviously, the versatility of the 7mm makes it a little bit more desirable. As for that shot, man, <laughs> heart and double lung, pretty solid, almost hit the liver there too. Gotta give credit where credit is due, the 308 is not bad. And since they're apparently just coming back here to meet us, I guess we'll try to do the same with the 7mm, so gotta get them to sit still for a second. And this angle is gonna definitely make it tougher, because there's way more meat that we have to go through to hit the lung, but man, <laughs> they're all doing good today. And I mean, forget lungs. That was a hard shot as well, though barely, but like all this neck flesh that the bullet had to go through to get to the heart. <laughs> it's pretty darn good. That was a gold as well, right at 276, which I think is the requirement. Not too bad. I don't really know like what else we're going to be looking for other than maybe Gemsbuck and Wildebeest for these two guns. Wardog and Kudu and stuff work just fine, but they would in almost any circumstance drop, so it's good to see him doing well on a class 8 animal. Go figure, speaking of Wildebeest, got a gold level 4 just standing out there. You know, that time, the range guesstimate actually kind of helped. Because we were sort of ranging through it, or maybe ranging directly under it. Because we were getting 250, obviously he's more like 200. But we'll try to make that shot with the 308, kind of going back and forth between those two. If you're in the right spot, and it's got to be something with like the area that you're in and the acoustics of it, the 308 sounds way better than the other guns, but it's so dependent. If you're in an area where the acoustics aren't that good, they sound almost identical. But again, the 308 performed quite well, got a double lung shot there, and of course it's going to be 100% quick kill. Not half bad. Hopefully there's going to be more Wildebeest and stuff just kind of feeding around. In fact, got one there. A little bit closer, but I guess we'll take that with a 7mm as well. And actually, very quickly, almost getting to a point where the 338 is being underrepresented in the video. Pretty quickly just hearing through both Wildebeest and Gemsbuck. Double lung from the 7mm to that time at 150 meters, but doing pretty solid here. And it does work out on a map like Verhunga where it's just loaded with big game. Almost anywhere we go, we've got a good thing to potentially test these things out on. I think, though, this will probably be our last kill of the hunt. I do want to not make this video too long, because obviously I'm intending to stream here fairly shortly, but let's try to, if we can, get that frontal heart shot in there. 7mm is more than capable enough of doing that, and that's the other thing too, which I guess if that one's just going to stand there. It has been talked about that the 338 might be a really good lion gun, because they do that, and you just have that extra round before you need to reload. And this lake is just loaded with lions. I don't know if we'll be able to see the northern end from where these ones are, but up on that end, there's usually anywhere from three to six lions up there, and that would be one spot another round actually helps a lot. That's at least a bit of a look at it. There's three visible there, although we can only spot two of them. And I think if we kept going and got that area in render, we would see even more of them, but this one we got double lung and heart with the 7 mil. There's that one spot where you can do that, and we managed to hit it basically dead center there. But a 45.5 scoring gold, and then I actually don't know where this one went. As long as it didn't dive into the water, it'll be on this side somewhere. And it apparently dove into the water, so we'll go back around and I think that'll do it for this hunt. And I do have to say, it's so interesting seeing the weapons in a completely different context because when we've looked at them in the context of grinding and trying to be as efficient as possible they don't end up for instance overtaking things like the 300 or the 308 ar but in just a casual hunt setting all three of the weapons performed really really good today but anyway that's kind of beside the point i just wanted to come out here and have a fun little hunt before we stream later on and i'm looking forward to that Leighton lakes tried to get a trophy or two maybe for the new free trophy cabin just gonna get that series started off right in trying to fill that from scratch but anyway that is gonna do it for this video so as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time